Well, yes, this is Kathy with Dating TV. Just received a carbon monoxide from the basement. If you and anyone are in the home, wait by the door and the front, the fire department, they'll determine how much carbon is in the home. They should be there very shortly, ma'am, very quickly. I actually moved into this house the end of September last year. I was going through a really hard time in my life. Uh, divorce on top of a lot of loved ones passing away back to back. With what we've gone through, my mom actually, she made me promise her if I got a house by myself that I would get a security system. Sunday morning, I kind of knew something was up. My animals eat downstairs. They were not eating, and I did not pick up on that. Me and my brother, we always do Sunday dinner together. We had a couple friends over. I was over for family dinner, uh, start prepping food, and I started feeling a little nauseous. I'm thinking it's heat exhaustion, so I went home. Everyone left, cleaned the kitchen, and went to bed. Then about 12 or 12.30, I received a phone call. My alarm was going off as well. She was telling me to get up and go outside and wait for the fire department because I had a carbon monoxide leak. They had me and my animals come outside. My fire department? Yes, this is Kathy with ADT calling in a carbon monoxide. And you're getting a CO? Right, from the basement. They had a little meter walking around, checking everywhere. They talked to me, told me what was going on, what was happening, the levels was really high. Rita was notified her CO detector had reached 220 parts per million. 220 parts per million is on the far end of, of what we hope to never see. It's extremely fatal. Right here is the carbon monoxide detector. And then over here is where the holes in the venting were. The fire department pointed out the holes. Mid-America shut off the valve. They end up replacing this venting right here. And then they turn back on the gas. If I could talk to the dispatcher, I would tell her thank you. She made sure like I was calm, I knew what was going on, and I felt comfortable like she's somebody I knew. Hello, I'm Steve Penny with ADT. I'm delighted to be here with Rita Steitzer today to honor first responders and reunite her with Kathy Taylor, the ADT dispatcher from Jacksonville, Florida, who made the call that day and helped save her and her pets' lives. And now they will meet for the very first time. It is a blessing to have helped save a life. I know that I do make a difference. You know, sometimes taking all those calls back to back and makes me value my job even more. Rita purchased her system as she told you that she had promised her mother to do. She purchased that about nine months ago from Safe Haven Security, which is the number one company in our ADT authorized dealer program. And leading uh, Safe Haven's uh, national business is Director Brandon Reed. We want to thank you um, for your leadership, your dedication and direction with your teams here, and uh, want to present you with a Lifesaver Award as well. Thank you and Safe Haven so much. You know about carbon monoxide and the dangers of it, but now, now I understand the severity of it. I could have passed away in my sleep. Me and my animals saved my life. Me and my animals' life. Mm -hmm.